Hey everyone, it's Friday night, September 4th, 2020. I'm here with the amazing Tom Delgado. Oh my God, look who it is. Look who it is. Me and Ken are here together. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> On a nice day, you guys are in for a treat. There's, not, there's a lot of people out. It's a nice day. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a nice here. evening. We're gonna walk the Greenwich Village today. The classic Greenwich Village. Well, check it out where we are right now. You can see the Washington Arch. This is a, we're at the beginning of Washington Square Park here. Which, by the way, is the end of Fifth Avenue. It's where Fifth Avenue ends in New York. Over here, you can see these houses. This is kind of cool. You show them the like the this is where like Will Smith lived in I Am Legend, the row. The these I Am Legend houses. I Am Legend yeah. houses. They built them in 1830 for the movie I Am Legend. But no, this is where he where he lived for I Am Legend. Really cool, like old house from like early 1830s. Then here you got Washington, uh, the Washington Square Park, which we're going to start walking through, and then we're going to go through Greenwich Village. Let's yeah, go. Let's it's, do it. It's buzzing today. There's people all in this park. It's the people everywhere. It's Friday night, everyone. Oh, that guy out. just fell down. Oh, really? You see that? Oh. Karen might have caught, captured it. Yeah. Looked like it was hurt. That's why I don't skateboard. Mm. People, people my age shouldn't skateboard. <laughs> and by my age, I mean 23 years old. Uh, he's more like 10. 10? I'm only 10 years old. Look at all these people. This is crazy. Look at this. Wow. It's like, where are all these people come from? Yeah. This is Washington Square Park. This is, uh, people don't, this park dates back to 1826. We're actually walking over thousands of dead bodies. We're still on a, still on a, an old potter's field where they used to bury people who died from yellow fever. Mm. They say it's haunted here. Grim history facts. Yeah. But it's cool, a lot of this area here around is NYU. A lot of these people are NYU students. This whole area here. You can see that red building, it's the NYU library. The Schimmel Center, you guys have their classrooms over here. This is where, you know, Samuel Colton then in the revolver, Jonas Salk used to be a professor here, Richard Polio. Hmm. Samuel Morse uh, debuted the telegraph here in the park in 1835. This is all kind of the heart of Greenwich Village. Yeah, look at all these people, they're all by the lawn and hanging out. It's great. Yeah, there's people everywhere, man. There's a few dog parks. Yeah, yeah, let's go check it out. We can show, we can show people the dog run. That's always, some people always ask me if, if like, you can have dogs in New York, and yeah, you can. It's brutal for them, though, because these apartments are so small. Yeah. But they have so many dog runs, you just have to take your dogs to them, or else they'll, you know, piss in your bed or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be very happy. Yeah, we'll go by the dog run. Then we can go over to where the chess, the chess players are. Mm -hmm. By the way, you can also see Tom D N Y C over here on YouTube. Oh yeah, losing I mean, a few moves for one of those chess players. Yeah, I did a video on chess, on the chess, uh, chess in New York, and I came here and interviewed interviewed one. Went to the chess forum here. We could might even walk by the chess forum. But uh, but yeah, it's like a big thing here. Mm -hmm. You see the chess, the chess forum. Yeah, that's right. Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> There's the dogs. Look at the dog just laying in the water and drinking it yeah. at the same time. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> He's laying in it and drinking it. That's so funny. That's the life. That is the life. I would, you know, it's funny. They don't let you go in there if you don't have a dog. Yeah. Which is probably smart because everyone would just go in there. He's just laying in the water and drinking. Yeah, isn't that funny? He's, lying, he's like laying in the water and drinking at the same time. It's kind of like me drinking my own bathtub water. That's right. That's I what do I do. sometimes. You just put a straw in there. You put a straw into the water and just drink it up while you're in it. <laughs> and here's the Washington Square Park restroom. The famous. The famous restrooms. Yep. Good to know because there's not a lot of public restroom options in the area. Yeah. Use them at your own risk, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. But yeah, this is Washington Square Park all around it. So Eleanor Roosevelt used to live in that building right there, Ken. Oh, he did. Right over there on Washington Square. 
She lived there uh, for a few years after FDR died. I'll play a little guitar uh, myself. Music. I should bring my guitar out here and play. It'd be an instant sensation. Yeah. He's playing a little Woody Guthrie. It's Woody Guthrie. You know what Woody Guthrie is, Ken? I heard of him. He's the guy who sang um, uh, This Land Is Your Land. Oh, yeah. You know that song? It's like, this land is your land, this land is my land, from California. Yeah. In the chess area, this is where like Bobby Fischer used to play. Magnus Carlson. Um, Magnus Carlson's come here to play. You never know who you'll run into. Yeah. yeah. But also like Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, who else? Amari Stoudemire. I saw a video once. Magnus Carlson was playing to a yeah. little kid in yeah. the earpiece. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. This is McDougal now. This is the NYU Law School right here. Why you lost? We're gonna go down McDougal. This is nuts. We were just walking down here, Ken. Right after you got crapped on by a bird. Yeah, I actually did. <laughs> Ken got crapped on by a bird, and then we just walked down the street. <laughs> Ken was distraught. He was in. He was a mess because he got. You might see it in the Instagram post. <laughs> yeah, the famous. I know it's beautiful. I have one. I have one of your. So yeah, we're walking down McDougal and we're south of the park. So this park, this whole area, this whole neighborhood has like the, the, I guess the reputation of being artistic, like the bohemian center of New York. But not so much anymore, it's very expensive now. So like, you know, celebrities and stuff live here. Sarah Jessica Parker, Mark Zuckerberg bought a place in the West Village for like 22 million. People like that. Wow. But like back in the 60s, it was Bob Dylan, Simon Garfunkel, uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, was discovered here. Um, you know, and also painters, beat poets, uh, Jack Kerouac, uh, uh, Edward Hopper was here, uh, who else? Uh, Jackson Pollock lived here. This is all McDougal. This is like the main yeah, drag. You this. see all the people out. All the restaurants. All the restaurants and bars. We just kind of want to zigzag through here. Yeah, let's go through it. Yeah. Show people what's changing the uh but You can see that people village. all have all their like, you know, tables and stuff outside. I think we mentioned this in the Soho video, but some of these restaurants have more tables outside than they ever had inside because they were so small. Mm -hmm. So they're actually kind of like, you know, right now at least, they're they're able to bring in some extra extra money. That being said, they're not they're not it's not it's not good times for restaurants in New York. Let's be yeah, clear. Not in general. Yeah, not in general. But over here, you have like Cafe Reggio, this green place that has been there since the 1920s. People like Khalil Gibran, you know, Bob Dylan used to hang out there. Yeah. A little coffee shop where they pass the hat. They play music and pass the hat. Here to the left, this building was built in 1858. It's where Louisa May Alcott used to live. She wrote parts of Little Women here. The book Little Women. Comedy style. You perform here, right? I wish. That's like where you perform. That's like where Chris Rock and people like that. One day. One day. Live music. You see the live the famous music? Uh, Palm Streets, Belgian fries. Yeah, Palm people go Street. crazy for that. Yeah. Their music. Everybody, we got the music playing out here. Oh yeah. Super cool. Before you hear it inside, but now it's kind of turned into like New Orleans a little bit. I know. This is so cool, man. You hear all the music on the street and people walk. There's a car coming. Yeah, there is. We don't get run over. This part, this is this is like very alive. This area here on a week, on a normal week. That's Cafe Wa, by the way, where we just walked by and playing. Oh yeah. That's where Bob Dylan got his first paid gig in New York. When he came from after he came from Minnesota, he played for a dollar a day there. He played harmonica for a dollar a day. And at a tavern. That was a speakeasy. Then Lewin ice cream shop. You like that? It's okay. Museum of ice cream is better now. Is that your is that your favorite? Yeah. Van Leeuwen's pretty good too. Saigon Shack is a great uh, 
Thai restaurant. I mean, Vietnamese restaurant. Yeah. Lots of comedy clubs here. There's one grizzly pear. There's one over here. Grand Village Comedy Club. There's no one around the corner. There's like four or five just right around, right here. I performed at a bunch of these. It's great. Look at that comedy club. A lot of people out, man. Pretty, oh. pretty crazy. But New York is dead, right? New York's so Absolutely. dead. That's right, everyone's talking about how New York's dead. It's never gonna bounce back. Well, look, it's not gonna be easy, I guess, but it's trying, it's finding a way. Yeah. We'll always find a way. There's a heartbeat still in New York. As, as long as there's people here, as long as there's New Yorkers here, as long as there's people living here, it'd be fine. It's gonna find a way to figure it all out. In fact, I've even read articles that saying that suburban home prices are going up a lot because all the New Yorkers are buying them up. Yeah, it's true. Actually, that's true. A lot of people are moving like upstate, they're moving to the Hamptons. What do you want to do? You going to go this way? Going that way? Where do you want to go? Let's go this way. All right, let's do it. We'll go right into uh, Sixth Ave, Bleecker Street area. Yeah. This is all Bleecker Street right now. Bleecker Street is very famous. The Simon and Garfunkel song, Bleecker Street, named after Anthony Bleecker, who gave this to the city. But this is where a lot of the immigrants live. This actually, so I don't know if you knew this, Ken, but this used to be part of. Uh, Little Italy back in the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Little Italy used to stretch all the way up here. But yeah, I actually did a video on Greenwich Village recently. Should check it out. Nice little plug there. Oh, yep. Plug but, number one. Plug number one. I'll, I'll keep track. I'll keep track. It's like technically two because we did the chess one earlier. Oh, yeah. I was the one who brought that up. That's true. Plug two. Plug two. But yeah, yeah this is a great, great uh, neighborhood. It's very fancy now, though. This is Bleecker Street. This is where all the Italians used to live. We're going to be walking over here in this area. You're going to see some of the cool stores and stuff. Now we're going to be over here on 6th Ave. You see this church over here. Our Lady yeah. of Pompeii. Beautiful Actu church. Yeah, it's a great church. That building's from like the 1920s, but the actual parish dates back to like the 1890s. Wow. And it's, uh, it was our late Pompeii catering to the Italians. We're Catholic, obviously, a lot of them. And we just passed Mineta Street where yeah. there was a creek. That's right. It winds because it follows the path of what used to be a creek called the Mineta Creek that went from the Hudson River all the way up to 23rd Street. Mm. No more. It actually exists if you like look yeah. under one of those That's right. sewer grates. There's still water under there. But that's 6th Avenue. You can see it down the World Trade Center. The top of it, anyway. The top of it, yeah. 1,776 feet tall, Ken. You mm -hmm. know that? Decoration of Independence you know, Ken Day. Ken is actually a very uh, decorated tour guide himself. <laughs> what, did you, what did you get on the test, Ken? Uh, only 142. Only 142 out of 150 people. I could only... have gotten better. You could have gotten better. Me too. Me and Ken got the same exact score on the test. It's a conspiracy. So me, and, me and Ken are running <laughs> a cheating ring. <laughs> a, cheat, a cheating ring for the test here. Ken's the only person I've ever heard that's gotten a score that high. Whoa, you're the only, you're the only rival I have <laughs> in the city. This no town's only big enough for one 142, Ken. Yeah. Should we go to the courts? What do you wish we do? Let's go up here. We okay. We'll go back around once we go up Yeah, we could. Here. Let's do that. Yeah, this is all Bleecker Street. You're gonna see a lot of like old school restaurants. There's, uh, over here, and uh, this is Father Demo Square. Father Demo is a very famous pastor of uh, Our Lady of Pompeii. Yeah. Also the park where I got shit also on. Also the park where, yeah, where Ken got crapped on. <laughs> Actually got crapped on. It was funny, is when I got crapped on, I was like, oh shit. And then he turns around, like, no, it's actual shit. <laughs> I was like, wait, what happened? Did you drop the camera? He's like, no, it's actual shit. <laughs> but there you have Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza is 1975, it's the original one. That's, uh, you know, Spider-Man, when Spider-Man used to work there. Peter Parker in the, in the movies. It's interesting, Greenwich Village, one of the reasons why it's... Oh, Jackson Pollock lived in an apartment right over there, where that yellow flag is. Jackson Pollock, the painter, you know who that is, Ken? The guy who splattered heard of him. Yeah. He lived in an apartment there. I think the apartment's now worth, like, a little over $2 million. It's a one-bedroom, tiny, tiny apartment. But it's, like, over $2 million now. Wow. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. That was back in like the 50s, the 60s, 40s when it was still pretty cheap to live here. 
Not anymore. I think this used to be Grom. Yeah, Grom. Across the street. Closed down. You ever you you know you know about Grom? Yeah, I heard about. It's actually a real Italian place. It's an Italian uh, chain. Yeah. But it's hey, funny. You see the old sign here, Grom. Yeah, yeah. After 10 years, we'll be closing Grom store on Bleecker Street. Oh my God. And this one's closed too, 7096 Broadway, near the Columbus Circle. I, I tried to go there. Oh, closed. really? Close? Yeah. Did you used to like it a lot? I actually never eaten here. It's but, okay. Yeah. It's interesting, I was doing a tour for some Italian people and we, there was a line out this Grom one time. And they're like, why are people waiting for that ice cream? I was like, why? They're like, that's like the McDonald's of ice cream in Italy. <laughs> We're like, oh, interesting. Wow. But people here love it. Mm. So this is all Bleecker Street. You're gonna see some really good spots. This one over here on the right, we're gonna pass by. I was just telling you about this, Ken, the one with the Roccos, where you can get like cannolis, the best cannoli in the oh, city. Oh yeah. It's, it's like freshly made is why. It's like they, they fill it right in front of you. You just order the shell and they put, they put mm. the, you know, bird crap in it. That's why it makes it That's so good. That's why it makes it so good. <laughs> it's right in here. This is it. I love this place. I'll take people when they come visit here. So good. Yeah, it's really just like, um, yeah, let's go. And then over here you have Murray's, Murray's Cheeses. Murray's, Murray's Cheeses. Cheese. Yep. A guy named Murray Greenberg started, I think, 1940. He, like, fought in the Spanish Civil War, came over here and started a cheese shop next to this Faicos. It used to be called Faicos Pork Store. Uh, it's been around since the 1930s. They changed the pork, uh, I'm sorry, Italian specialties because they didn't want to alienate people who would only eat pork. Mm. Makes sense. Cornelia Street. Cornelia Street. Look at this. All these people, man. Wow. They closed off the entire Cornelia Street. Yeah. Look at this. Look at all these people, man. It's like a party here. I know. But New York think, is uh, dead. But New York is dead. <laughs> New York is dead, everybody. Go read those articles in the, some crap journal or whatever. <laughs> Makes me think that Taylor Swift came back to live here. Yeah, right. Those are the type of people who think it's dead. Look at all these people dining out. It's crazy. Taylor Swift, they made her like the ambassador of the city. You know that? Really? Yeah, it's kind of insane. Look at still all this traffic. It's crazy. I know. This used to be a guitar store here. So Matt Uvinov Guitars is closed down, unfortunately. Yeah. But Bob Dylan used to come here. Awning. Yeah. See it right there. I had to see a lot of these places closing I know, down. tell me about it. They were closing down before this, though. Look at that. Jones Street is even closed off the track. What's that? This street's closed off the track, too. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah. This is a cool, we'll go up to 4th. That's John's. John's Pizzeria, famous John's Pizzeria, 1929. Yeah. You know that guy, the, the chef from the original John's, trained with Lombardi, the general Lombardi who opened Lombardi's. Oh. Yeah, and then this one's super popular. Lombardi's like the most famous pizza right here. Tons of tourists and people go. Yeah, they're famous for their clam pizza of all things. This place? Or, no, or, Lombardi's. Lombardi's also only sells by the pie. They don't sell by the slice. I've had their clam pie before. I didn't really like it. I'm not crazy about that kind of stuff on my pizza. I just like cheese slices. It's kind of like pineapple pizza. Some people you like pineapple it, pizza? Some people love it. I mean, I can tolerate it, but I won't go crazy and putting pineapple on pizza. Look at that law office sign. <laughs> Popeyes. It's got Popeye with a, with a scale. That's the person I want defending me in court. The person with a Popeye and their logo. Yeah. Tom used to be a lawyer. That's right. That. I did used to be a lawyer. I was probably, I probably would have had a worse logo than that <laughs> if, I, if I'd stayed with it. I would have had like Mighty Mouse or something holding my logo. And now Tom does YouTube videos and it's a tour guide. Tour guide, comedian, actor, Lord knows what I'm doing. This is a famous street, Ken, you know that? This is Jones Street. Oh. So you ever, you ever heard of, you know Bob Dylan, right? Oh yeah, I heard of him. So he's, he's some guy famous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this guy, I'll show you the, I'll show it on, on the, uh, so this, this actual street is where they filmed the, I'm sorry, not filmed, but took the picture for the album that made him famous. 
This is the this is Jones Street. And so the album made him famous had like blowing in the wind on it. Oh, you know that song? yeah. Like, the answer, blowing my friend, is blowing. Yeah, that one. Yeah. The answer is blowing in the wind. And it's this image. Check it out. I'll show it on the thing. This is how high tech we are. I just show you my phone into the cam into the camera. <laughs> but this is it. You see it? So like this is the cover Free of Will the, and Bob Dylan. That's it. That's him and Susie Rotolo. That's it. At the entrance of of uh Jones Street. And so people wow. will come from all over the country to recreate that picture with their girlfriends right here at this. But this is a, like people don't understand, this this album was like one of the most important albums of the 20th century. And it was taken right here. Yeah. Look at how busy it is. Packed. It's packed. packed. Yeah. It's what New Yorkers do on a Friday night. Yeah. On Labor Day weekend. He used to live right there. Bob Dylan used to live right there at 161 West 4th, that building. Yeah, let's head over there, Seventh Ave. Maybe we check out Stonewall and all that down there. Yeah, let's do it. Look at all these houses now. Look how old these things are. Those houses are like from the early 1800s, man. So like 18, 18, 18, 18, 15 around then. Those are old, man. Crazy old. Yeah. You know what I also noticed recently is that there's more tourists in New York right now. You notice that? I noticed that too. Which is kind of interesting. I, I guess maybe people from other states just drive. But I've also curious. seen I've also seen people from other places in the in the world. Like I've heard speaking different languages. Mm. And I think the reason is because these are people who probably booked their their trips way ahead of time. Yeah. And just said screw it. No, I didn't. Well, so if you guys are coming to New York, look up Ken and me. <laughs> I'll show you around. That's cool. So this is here, that little spot there. That used to be Cafe Society, that white building there, that white uh, that white uh, storefront. That used to be where Cafe Society is. That's where like it was the first integrated nightclub in New York City history, 1938. That's where like Billie Holiday got her start. You know who she is, Ken? Hmm. Harper. What's your favorite music? Music musician, huh? Yeah. Tom DMYC. Tom DMYC. <laughs> you, you like my, my, my Jim Croce covers on my Instagram? Oh. I, I make so many Instagram accounts just to uh, like that video. <laughs> <laughs> you just spend all your days just liking it over and over again. That's it. I appreciate the support, man. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, dude. That's very nice. So now we're heading to the Seventh Ave. This is kind of the western edge of, I guess, Greenwich Village. It's kind of getting into West Village now. Oh, check this. This is gonna be great. Check this oh, out. Oh wow! Look at this. So this is Stonewall. This is like the most famous gay bar in the entire world. Where the gay pride movement began in 1969. Yeah. Oh, LGBT. That's right. So we're gonna we're gonna see something really cool. They're doing a drag show in here. Also, check this out. This is kind of funny. Little dog store. You see that? Little dogs. Oh yeah. Wow. People love coming City here. Pups. There aren't too many pet stores in New York. Yeah, not anymore. But there's this one's uh, always popular with people. Hopefully these dogs are smart enough not to drink from their own bath water. <laughs> I 
Look at that dog. <laughs> no, no, no. Share, <laughs> share. <laughs> so funny. That's crazy. But this whole area too is like, check it out. Is this the area where you got rained on? Yeah, big time. Me and Sarah came Sarah? out here with oh a tour. God. That's right. Me and Sarah have a tour tomorrow. If you guys, well, I guess this is not going to be released by them, but hey, but check out Sarah. Check out Sarah, anyway, Sarah Funk. Wanted. We do tours, live tours. See, live also, tours. that's the Northern Dispensary. That's where um, they used to. So the, a lot of Greenwich Village grew because of yellow fever epidemics that hit New York City, which was Lower Manhattan back then, back in like wow. the early 1800s. And that was the Northern Dispensary from 1827. And uh, Edgar Allan Poe was treated for a cold there. You know Edgar Allan Poe, right? Yeah, he's the guy who wrote the uh, Raven. The right? uh, Raven, that's right. Do we keep walking into West Village? Let's do it. This is, uh, you guys are very lucky to be seeing this right now. There's probably not, uh, I think this is the most people I've seen out. This since, is like the liveliest the, weekend I've ever seen. Yeah, in New I've York. never, I've not seen New York like this since the pandemic started. Actually, there was one that kind of rivaled it was when um, I think when they first opened out outdoor dining in my neighborhood, it was pretty crowded there too. That was like really packed. Oh yeah. Yeah. <coughs> that was not a COVID cough. I just saw <laughs> my own saliva. It's okay too. I have uh, I have the antibodies, everybody. No worries. <laughs> I have the antibodies. I got tested. I don't have the antibodies. But I'm negative. Let's cross, man. What are we doing? All right. Ah, we're gonna see the spike triangle, right? Yeah, the the, uh, the Hess triangle is called. <laughs> this is cool. This is a cool story. So, what, so this little place on the corner there used to be an apartment building here, and in the early 1900s they were gonna build the subway and also build this this chunk of Seventh Avenue. So they were taking places by eminent domain to basically build all this stuff and they, they wanted to take this apartment building but they said no so they kept fighting and fighting after three years of fighting they, they finally got it the city but they were they were mad anyways uh, a few years later the the descendants saw that they had surveyed it incorrectly and actually left this wrong little triangle the city's like oh sorry that's our bad can we have that and the descendants were like no we're keeping it <laughs> and the city was like whatever so that's a little that's marked off there the property of Hess is dead. It's pretty yeah. funny and that tile's uh, seen better days all cracked now. But. Yeah, not the most expensive property in the city, I guess. I heard it's the most expensive like piece of real estate per square inch. Is that right? City. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess that would make sense. Back had that place is great normally. Like they play jazz and they go all these board games, and shuffleboard, and ping pong. This place here, you get cereal, milk, ice cream. That's, that's, the big, that's their famous thing, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's really good. I tried it too, I didn't really like it too much. So here, uh, we're going west of 7th Ave right now, more into the West Village. This is kind of like the more exclusive part of Greenwich Village. Mm. This is where Zuckerberg lives. This is where like Jim Carrey, Justin Timberlake, people like that. I but always wonder what the difference between Greenwich Village and West Village was. Well, the difference is kind of 7th Avenue, and it's not really uh, like an, well, it's kind of, I guess, official now. But it wasn't always, it was always all just Greenwich Village. But over time, like in the mid-1900s, West Village kind of branched off, as did the East Village. Mm. Um, and they did it kind of just make themselves a little more exclusive. It was a little more, you know, about that. But you could tell it's already much quieter here. It's like much more calm. And for that, you got to pay. <laughs> like you do for everything in New York. Expensive neighborhood to live in. That's right. And this is Bleecker Street. Bleecker Street. Hey, we were around. just here a minute ago. We were, but it, now it, here it goes north. It's going north. That's the thing. If you uh, if you're relying on like maps and stuff, yeah. you better make sure you're going the right way. Yep. You can get lost here. In Greenwich Village, yeah, because we're off the grid. The grid of Manhattan doesn't apply here. Off the grid. That's right. Off the grid. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be Ken's new uh, sitcom. <laughs> off the grid. You gotta make a sitcom, Ken. You gotta write a sitcom. Definitely. Meet Ken. He walks around New York. Deet, deet, deet. Off the grid. But yeah, it's um, this is off the grid technically because in 1811 when they opened the grid, when they implemented the grid, this is north of Houston. That's where the grid started. But this side, 
it was already kind of developed after with money. They'd already kind of started settling here. Mm-hmm. It was already Greenwich Village a little bit, and they'd already mapped out their streets. They were like, no, thank you. We don't want that grid on our stuff. So they said, okay. So you can get lost here pretty easily. Mm-hmm. There's a cool uh, little McNulty's tea. It's a tea shop yeah. that's been there since 1895. McNulty's very tea. Yeah. These little tables out here. <laughs> You couldn't pay me to sit on one of those couches. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't known that? No, you know. It's bed bugs. <laughs> you do know. It's bed yeah. bugs. <laughs> I've had them once. They're not. Oh no they're way! Not you had them? Oh yeah. god! Did you have to get all your clothes and stuff like blasted or whatever by? Oh no no! We were lucky because it was in the middle of the summertime. Uh-huh. We just put them in black garbage bags and uh-huh. just put them out on the porch where the sunlight just cooks them all. And it worked? Yeah. Oh, that's great. As long as it's about like 90 degrees and the black garbage bag, nothing's like it's getting out of there. Supposedly, we're one of the most stressful things you could have happen oh, to you yeah. here. But luckily, we caught it early, so. This is the Lucille Lortel Theater over here. Off, off Broadway Theater? Yeah. Well, all in off Broadway Theater means is that it's from 100 to 499 seat theater. Mm-hmm. Off, off Broadway is less than 100, and a Broadway theater is 500 or more. Look at this. You know what this place is. North Fork. This is, dude, this is busier here than it normally is. I know. Look at they got all these tables outside and stuff that's not normally like that. And this is where uh, the sidewalks are very narrow. Yeah, they get a little narrow. We can walk down the street, I guess. Yeah, it's a car coming though. Yeah. You can walk closer to the yeah. park cars. So this is all the West Village, and you can see it's much quieter. But you gotta pay for that, baby. You gotta pay. You gotta pay for your parking. You gotta pay for registration, taxes, maintenance, all that. We're about to go to a really famous building right now. You realize that, Ken? Mm-hmm. You know where we're going? Uh, the Unfriends apartment? That's right, the un- Enemies apartment. <laughs> <laughs> enemies apartment. Now, this is the Friends apartment over here on the corner. This is the exterior that they use for the TV show Friends. This is where, uh, you know, they all, they all lived. And then across the street was where Ross's apartment was. I wonder if they got rid of all the um, graffiti on the side of the building. People were like etching the names and stuff yeah. on the side. Yeah, that's right. This is it though. Yeah. Let's uh, show them this over here. This is pretty cool, Ken. I don't know if you've seen this. Oh yeah, I've seen this. you seen this Grove Court? Mm-hmm. So there used to be a brewery, which is now a theater. We're gonna see it in a second. That's cool you see inside that place. Grove Court, huh? And this was built for housing for the people who worked at that brewery. And it's now very fancy housing, very fancy. Pretty cool. Stick my can right in there. Doesn't look too bad, huh? Oh, yeah. And then over here you have these old houses. These are kind of cool. Not too many places like that in Manhattan. Yeah, it's kind of cool. These still have like the original like stoops. And you have like over here, you still have like the iron work. So these would be here for like you wipe all the crap off your feet when you, when you go in. All the horse manure and like the all the snow bird poop and mud. Like that's all that was I good. had earlier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, I hey. Do you recognize him? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yeah, we love your videos. Thank you. Another <laughs> <laughs> You're a celebrity, Ken. Oh, a celebrity. We didn't pay that guy. No. We didn't pay him a lot. We didn't pay him a lot. <laughs> we gave him a couple slices of pizza and he said, all right, fine. We brought him with some Joe's pizza. <laughs> we got him some Joe's pizza. We're like, can you pretend to know Ken? This is a cool story over here. I'll show you this. Yeah, they didn't get rid of the uh, graffiti on the side of the building. You see, people like wrote their names on the side of the Friends building. Yeah. That's so uncool, man. Yeah, and that's not even the Friends building. It's like the oh fun. yeah, the friends over here. <laughs> they they actually over here. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so lame. But this is a cool story. So see that that door right there? 
that that gray the green door yeah gray, see that. that that used to be chumley's chumley's is we can, walk, we can cross over there mm -hmm. it was a speakeasy this actually was a neighborhood that during prohibition which was in the 1920s in the united states where there was no alcohol allowed speakeasies were rampant here in greenwich village because there's so many artists and there's like a bohemian area but this was chumley's not chumley's <laughs> right right yeah not yeah <laughs> But this was here is Chumley's. And as you can see, it's the 86 there. This is 86 uh, Bedford. But there's an entrance here over on Barrow as well. So what happened was, the main entrance was over on Barrow. But when they would get raided, they would push people at the back. Oh. 86 Bedford, and they'd say, we're 86 in this party. That's where the term 86 comes from. There's Barrow Street. Yep. So the term 86 for all the, all your viewers who work in the you know restaurant industry, that's where it comes from. Mm -hmm. Right here. And people like Boom. F. Scott Fitzgerald used to go there, you know, uh, John Steinbeck, people like that. Very famous. Speakeasy. This is a pretty cool little building. See that one? See a thin building? Oh, yeah. It's so it. thin. It's thin. Yeah, yeah. 75 and a half is the uh, address. Clark Gable used to live here. But they filled in, basically, the carriage pass. It used to be like a pass for carriages. Wow. Yeah, there's a, also, you have a, Edna St. Vincent Malay who lived here as well. Pretty cool, 75 and a half. Not too many half of the buildings in uh, New York. No, there aren't. There are a couple, but not a lot. This is the Cherry Lane Theater. I was telling you about that brewery. This is another off-Broadway theater. What's in here? Yeah, you can see the back the back balcony there. Yeah. Pretty cool. Ooh, I mean, a cat, too. Kitty. Hey. Look at him. Kitty. Hey, kitty. A little bit shy. I'm not, I'm not crazy about cats. Mm, not you like, really. You like cats? I can tolerate them. I'm more of a dog guy. I tolerate dogs and cats. So you can see these nice houses, man. Like these like stoops and everything. You can see, they're just all from like the first half of the 1800s. Yeah, on the brewery. Here it is. Yeah. Charlie Lane Theater. He owned the brewery that was right here. Wow. And now you can see like a list over here of all the stuff they produce here. This is like an off-probably, this is where like all big famous actors got their start. You see like John Malkovich, uh, Ethan Hawke. Let's see where I find some other ones. Lots of famous names and people who've done stuff here when they were just starting out. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, a lot of big, big plays too. Kind of cool. Dan Aykroyd. Oh, that's David Aykroyd. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you can see like the old kit where the carriage went in, like that's what the, the door looks like that. Cherry Lane. Yep. So now we're going to be getting over to Hudson in a second, which is kind of the main drag of the West Village, which I imagine is probably pretty lively right now too. Oh yeah, Hudson Street. Yeah, Hudson Street's going to be that crazy. Sunset the oh, great. Whoa. This is like really, this is like the West Village of Hudson Street is like, this is the main avenue of this area, but this is where it gets quiet and also gets expensive. Mm. People, Jane Jacobs used to live right on Hudson, the famous woman who took, took on Robert Moses, the big planner in New York and fought him on every development he tried <laughs> to make. But she lived over here. She helped protect Soho. Soho was gonna be demolished pretty much for a highway. She fought that and won. I wonder if Hudson Street used to be the uh, the water's edge here. It's possible. I, it's possible. I don't, I don't think so. The, 
the piers, the piers have been over there for a while. There have been piers uh, over on the, on the water. We're close. We're pretty close to the High Line too. Mm. I don't know how far you want to walk. Let's go up Hudson Street. Want to? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Over here to the left, you're gonna see Saint Saint Luke's in the field. St. Luke's in the field is called that because it used to be in the field. It opened in 1822 and there was nothing out here pretty much. They called it in the field. There was a uh, chapel, uh, Trinity Church. It was like an offshoot of Trinity Church. And it's over here on the left, you see it? You walk up to 14th Street. You're gonna walk all the way up to 14th? Yeah. Okay. It's not that far, right? Uh, not super close. But yeah, this whole area here. This church also too is really important during the AIDS epidemic. They, it's where they they served a lot of the people who had AIDS in the neighborhood. This neighborhood was hit pretty hard. We were talking about how it's the gay community kind of has made its home in this area. Mm -hmm. But this was one of the churches that served that community when a lot of people weren't willing to work with them. It's funny, dude. People are giving like giving some weird looks. <laughs> I wonder why it is. Maybe it's your camera. Maybe it is. It's just bouncing up and down like that. Yeah. If <laughs> you're like, what's going on with that camera? It's a four factor stabilizer. It's but maybe you're also a celebrity. Like, in case you guys don't know, Ken is a celebrity. I got recognized back there on Cherry Lane. And we only had to give that guy two slices of pizza to recognize That's him. That's it. That's it. And all he did, he gave us a nice show. But yeah, the water's right near here. So all the longshoremen, all the Irish, and uh, Italians that used to work over on the piers over here. They would come and hang out or live in this area. There's still one of the bars we're gonna walk by called the White Horse Tavern is right here from the left, used to serve them. But it's super quiet over here. Italian sandwich place. Yeah. It's a local too. This is where it gets expensive to live, man. Oof. Mm, West Village is no joke. All along the water there, especially. That's it. That's where Timberlake lives. Wow, look. Timberlake. Let's actually go down there. I never want to? this block, yeah. Oh, that guy's flying. Yeah, he's not messing around. Shh. Unnecessary. Actually, yeah, I have been down here, but. Yeah, I'm sure you've been down here. Yeah. We have to go out to 14th Street. Okay. Oh, let's go over there. Look at all the people over there. Yeah, let's go. We got to see some nightlife now. We're gonna go party. You're gonna watch <laughs> this party. We're gonna go crazy after this video. During this video. All right. This really is wild how many people are out there. Yeah, like a Starbucks. Look at the building that it's in. Look how little that thing is. That thing's like from like 1820, that building. And you don't even you wouldn't even know it. Look at this, huh? All, all these people, people <laughs> man. Nuts. Craziness. Where's the white one cabin? Over here on the left. You're gonna see it here pretty soon. What, you wanna go over to the water? Yeah, we can go there after this. You know where we could end is the uh, high line. Yeah, we can do that there. There's also a cool little street here called Charles Lane. Yeah. We'll show that out. Right here, Charles is right here. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Oh, people all out here. Do you want to go down here? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So a lot of these streets too, this area was once again like just like Greenwich Village was populated when the yellow fever epidemics hit lower Manhattan in like late 1700s, early 1800s. And so a lot of these streets are named based on that push. Mm -hmm. Like Bank Street, where all the banks moved to. This is a cool house over here. It's 
really cool, right? Wooden they, house. Yeah. They actually moved it over here. They moved it. It was moved over here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was nearby and they moved it here. It's like a private little house. Look. This is super cool. So random. Yeah, look at that. It's like right in the middle of the corner. In the corner. Nice. Yeah. That? Yeah, I love it's that. So house. beautiful. It's for sale. Yeah, Whoa. Million, but you don't get the house. That's only 20, 20 million. million? You don't get the house. What do you get? The land. Just the land is 20 oh. million. Oh, holy lord. Wow. Now you heard that. Crazy. So 20 million just for the land. Amazing. So if you got 20 million bucks to spare, you can buy a corner of the West Village here. If you got 20 million bucks to spare, this is a good time to tell you about Ken's Patreon. <laughs> Why don't you subscribe yeah, to Patreon? You subscribe to my Patreon. You got 20 million bucks to spare. What are you doing? You, you can see. Harry you can also start seeing Hudson Yards up there. Yeah. You can actually see the High Line from here too, a little bit. Yeah. Across here. Look at this car. Yeah. Yeah, Rolls Royce. <laughs> Should I ask him for a ride? Yeah. He's all decked out. That's why. How do you buy a Rolls Royce? A lot of money. Oh my gosh. Probably the same guy who can afford the twenty million dollars. Yeah, right. Corner of house, maybe. We should go rush, run, run him down, and tell him about your Patreon. Be like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Could you sign up for my Patreon? It was all like the West Village, all quiet, calm. Perry Street. You know what Perry Street's famous for, Ken? What's it famous for? It's famous for well, this is where Carrie Bradshaw lived. Oh. Not their house is a couple blocks that way, but she lived on Perry Street in the TV show Sex in the City. Mm-hmm. So quiet over here, man. Yeah, compared to you know Bleecker Street, McDougal. Yeah. When we started. Yeah. It's interesting, like, we're in the West Village now, but Greenwich Village got its name from a neighborhood in, in London, actually, uh, because it, it, was, it was actually named that in the 17, early 1700s when it was still a British colony, when New York was still a British colony. Oh, wow. Have you ever heard of Greenwich Median Time? Oh, GMT? I heard that. That's yeah. where Greenwich comes GMT. from. Yeah, GMT, Greenwich. That's Greenwich in England. Oh. GMT, Greenwich. Greenwich. Yep. More outdoor seating. Starting to get, we we'll probably get some good shots of the sunset over there. Oh yeah, it's pretty. When you when you use that camera, does it bounce a lot? Does it kid? Does it make? Does it make like a, the sh the shot bounce? Oh no, it doesn't. It's really? Smooth. Oh okay. Because it has a spring in it. Got to have a bit of ivy on it. Can't get more natural than this. I know. Oh, look at that. We're going to be on Bank Street here in a second. Very famous person used to live on Bank Street. I'll show you that here in a second. Any banks on Bank Street? Not anymore. They no used more? To be. No. Back in the day, there were. Mm. This is a... See that house there? That white one? Which one? This white one right here. Yeah. You know who used to live there? Who used to live John there? Lennon. Oh. Of the Beatles. You know who the Beatles are, Ken? I know that, man. Yeah. They're not that popular. <laughs> they're, I think they really got a shot at making, <laughs> at making a splash here. But no, he, um, he lived there before he moved to the Dakota. Because there was too many fans and people outside all the time. They screwed mm -hmm. this. And he just moved to Dakota where there's a security guard and all that stuff. Now we're heading over to the west. You can start seeing the water over there. Uh oh. Thank you so much. Don't worry, it's not Corona. I have the antibodies. 
I hope I hope that's enough to ward it off still. I've got allergies now too. I think it's ragweed. You think it's that? You think it's that allergies? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I, mean, I was sneezing a lot earlier. Yeah. This is HP Studio, a famous uh, acting studio here in New York. Yeah. Got your classes there. Not a big deal. I'm an actor. <laughs> You see some portions of the High Line up there. Yep, this used to be. It's not anymore. But this building was built to outfit or to to account for the High Line, which used to be a railway that that ran all up the west side of Manhattan, the New York Central. It was a freight railway, and it cut through buildings like this one. Yeah, you can see it. Look at that. Yeah. Actually, this is kind of cool. I'll show you this. Look. You can see a picture of what it used to look like over here at Automatic Slims. They have a you can see that picture right there. Look at that picture. Oh, there it is. That's what it used to look like here. This was a building called known as Bell Laboratories. This is where they actually used to do radio and, and the first motion pictures. This is where they shot Jazz Singer, the famous Al Jolson movie. And then over there is the Westbeth Artist House. Wow. They, which is like a, a, an artist complex, housing complex. But yeah, the Highland used to go all through this. But what happened was in the late 1800s, so the mid 1800s, they made this hot, this uh, railway going up the west side. Uh, and by the late 1800s, it was so many people dying and getting hit by trains because it was on the street that they, in 1930s, they, they elevated the railway and it became the High Line. But then they stopped using it by 1980. And then it just sat unused and like deserted until 2009 when they finally opened the High Line. Wow, this pool here smells so good. Yeah. Good thing we ate before we did this. Yeah, I know, right? Bethune, that's where, um, that building right there is where Philip Seymour Hoffman died. You remember him? I remember him. He died of an overdose over there. Now we're real close. Part of it. Yeah, we're close. We're going to be getting into the meatpacking district soon, which got its name, Ken, because it used to be the meatpacking district in New York. What? Really? That's where they used to pack meats. The slaughterhouses were there, and it was also along the High Line, so it was very convenient. Meat you'll pack. see, the, you'll see the old buildings that you know where they used to hang like the meats from and all the aluminum awning. They're all still there. But it would be cool. This would be a perfect place to end. We'll end at the at the High Line. It would be. I hate walking through these, don't you? Yeah. So it creeps me out always. Look at that construction. Look at that, huh? Jane Street. The Jane Hotel is right over here. The Jane Hotel is where the survivors of the Titanic were, were put up. Oh. It's at the end of the block. Yeah, I shot a TV show over here, Ken. Really? You know that, that show famous? with, uh, what's his, John Krasinski? What was that show called? John Krasinski. The guy from The Office. Mm. He made that, it was not, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but I shot a scene with that, those guys at the Jane Hotel. He was Jim in The Office. And he had that, like, CIA show. I forget what it was called. It wasn't uh -huh. very good. There, you start seeing the High Line. Yeah. You know you gotta get tickets now for the Highline. Yeah, I went there on the opening day. Oh you really? Gotta, you gotta reserve it online and then you gotta go. Did here. you do a video? I did. How was it? It was kind of quiet then. Yeah. It must be nice right now, but it's pretty busy. Yeah, it might be after hours though. We did a tour on there with I did a tour with Sarah up there and it was really uh, the the service was really bad. Oh. It's too bad. Dude. Yeah. But you start seeing the Highline. There's the High Highline, the Standard Hotel. Yeah. Beautiful light right now. It's yeah. Like sunset. You know what's kind of interesting? I don't know if you knew this, but when the High Line opened in, in 2009 as a park, 
the, the standard has these windows that you could see just plain as day from the actual High Line. Oh. So people would just like, exhibitionists would make this a stop. Oh, wow. yeah. So you would be on the High Line like having coffee and you look up in the windows and there's some naked guy, you know, doing God knows what. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun. <laughs> Here's the entrance though. Yep, this is the official entrance. Yeah. The only entrance now. Right now it's the only entrance, that's correct. You probably see a good uh, sunset over here. Oh. Yeah, look at that, dude. Whoa. You wanna walk down there? Yeah, let's do it. We don't have to cross the street though, we just go to the end. Yeah. Past the Whitney. Yeah. Look, By these the are way, all the buildings. Whitney too. Museum of American Art. That's here. right, this is the Whitney Museum. Ren, uh, Renzo Piano is the uh, architect, a very famous architect, Pritzker Prize winning architect designed this building. Oh no, you can still go up. Eight o'clock again. Oh really? You have all the like aluminum like awnings from the buildings. This is all the meatpack district. Yeah. A lot of the... Let's go check it out. That might be fun to walk the high line now, half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got to run it. I guess, it, is this open? No. Yeah, it is. Well, the, not the museum. Right now. But the museum is open. Really? I yeah. guess the museums are open now, right? They are now. Oh, that's right. I think it was also free until, um, until like sometime in September. Well, it's September now, but later in the month. So this is all Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney. That's where they got its name. She was one of the Vanderbilts and she lived in the Greenwich Village and she used to collect all art, all her friends to help them out. She would buy up a lot of their art to like help them out and she would showcase it at her apartment in Greenwich Village. She eventually amassed so much art and these people became famous enough to where she could open her own collection. She did that. Wow. And then it recently moved to this spot in 2015. Look at that, dude. Look at this. Picture perfect sunset. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, we can't even cross the street anyway. Yeah. So, might as well just send the video. Yeah, here. let's do it, man. All right, folks. We did it. Ken, we did it. We did it. And we, we didn't get pooped on a second time. Well, Ken got pooped on already. <laughs> He's covered in it right now. You can't see it. Yeah, we made it back here. Made it here to the uh, to the west side, the Hudson River, yep. in West Village. We walked to Greenwich Village. We had quite a day, quite a day there. Kid. We had fun. a lot of walking. A lot. It's good, man. We got a, there was a lot of people out. It was a nice day. You know, Ken yeah. has crap all over his pants. Yeah. Gotta get a wash <laughs> now. Laundry. Yeah. But uh, yeah. anyway, yeah, if you like this video, smash the like button. Yeah. Check out Tom D N Y C on YouTube. Yeah, please subscribe. And Instagram. Yeah. And um, yeah. We'll see you next yeah, time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. See you.